What's going on guys? My name is Sub Pritiki and at long last welcome back to another episode of Prick Analysis. Now I've gained about 200 subscribers since this series ended the day before Black Ops 3 was released. So if you guys haven't seen a Prick Analysis episode before, then the top link in the description below will take you to a full playlist containing all 12 other perks released up to this point. Now the basic gist of this series is I take a look at every single perk available in Call of Duty Zombies and I break them down telling you guys exactly what the perk does and I give you guys some interesting trivia along the way. So today we're going to be covering the first perk to appear in Black Ops 3, Widow's Wine. Widow's Wine costs 4,000 points and was introduced and so far is only available in Shadows of Evil, being located near the portal leading to the Canal District from the Rift. Now once you buy Widow's Wine, you will have three different effects given to you. The first and in my opinion best effect is when a zombie hits you, you will unleash a wave of webbing that will trap and prevent nearby zombies from hitting you again for approximately 20 seconds. Now something to note is that the radius of the webbing is approximately the same size as the radius of the electric shock wave when using electric cherry. Next up, your grenades will actually change into sticky Widow's Wine grenades which are very similar to Semtex's. Now in addition to being sticky, explosives, any zombies not killed by the explosion will be caught in webbing for approximately 20 seconds. Now each of the previous two effects use one of your Widow's Wine grenades to actually work. So what I mean by this is if you have all four of your grenades and you get hit once by a zombie, the first effect will go into play. However, it will take away one of your Widow's Wine grenades. Now if you use all four of your grenades, there are three different ways to earn them back. Either by getting a max ammo, automatically getting two at the beginning of a new round, or sometimes when a zombie is killed, they will drop a blue spider icon which replenishes one grenade. Now the third and final effect makes your knife able to give off the same type of webbing effect, but only to a single zombie at a time. Oh and I can't forget, it also turns the blade green. So that was Widow's Wine's effect and I hope that it clarifies exactly what it can and can't do because it is one of the trickiest perks we've ever had. Now if you guys have seen any other perk analysis episode before, then you will know that at this point in the video I would go over some interesting facts or trivia as I like to call it. However, Widow's Wine has only been around for less than 3 months and has only appeared in one map so far. So I can only find 2 pieces of trivia, however I think you guys are going to find them pretty interesting and enjoyable. Widow's Wine was actually teased all the way back at San Diego Comic Con in July 2015. At the event before the world review trailer for Shadows of Evil, there was a sort of escape the room, beat the clock type of real life challenge that fans could participate in. Now beforehand, Treyarch actually said that everything in that room would be involved in the first zombies map for Black Ops 3 in one way or another. This was pretty interesting when people started noticing this odd looking wine bottle in the room. At first glance, it looks pretty innocent but taking a look at the logo on the label, it's in the same shape as the perk icons when looking at the heads up display or HUD. We then all left with a burning question of what could this spidery, widowy type of icon be. We then got our questions answered over a month later during the Black Ops 3 beta when Widow's Wine's jingle was leaked. Now while we're on the topic of Widow's Wine's jingle, similarly to Juggernaut, it's actually had two different versions. The first version was the one that was leaked during the Black Ops 3 beta which features a male backup singer. However, once the game was fully released, we were all surprised when the male backup singer was replaced by a female. Now in my personal opinion, I actually prefer the leaked version for some reason. Maybe because I heard it first and have it burned into my memory better or something like that. But I'm going to play both of them for you guys right now and I want you guys to tell me in the comments down below which one you guys prefer. When you feel
But there you guys have it. That was Widow's Wines perk analysis. It felt so good to return to the series. But honestly, guys, I'm done with the giant. I'm done with Shadows of Evil. Durant the Dragon should come out in the next couple of days. And I am beyond hyped. If you guys are hyped and you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Subscribe for more zombies videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.